Hello everyone, this is Ross with Market Traders Daily and this is today's video analysis for May 8th, 2020. Today we're looking at the EUR, USD, the Euro versus the US dollar for today's trade analysis. Before we begin looking at the chart, it's important to recognize the fact that in about 45 minutes from the recording of this video, we have significant news out of the US. 8.30 a.m. Eastern US time, non-farm payrolls coming out of the US. We also have at the same time Employment data coming out of Canada as well. So significant news, about 45 minutes for recording of this video. Could change everything I'm talking about here. But we'll keep that in mind as we look for trade opportunities as we go through our day to day. Here on the Euro, on the left hand side of the picture, you can see the, the different trends here highlighted with different colored trend lines, blue, red, black, red. Uh, in the past week or so, we've been in a bearish trend along the red trend line. Yesterday, started pushing back up a bit, and today holding above the yellow shade area, 1.0825, 1.0810. From the bottom of the range, this black box representing a range, and you can see it pushing back up from the bottom of the range. So the question is now, are we in for another reversal, just like what we've seen over the past month or so? Is it now going to hit the bottom of the range, turn back around, and go back up towards the top of the range, which is all the way back up there into the upper 109s towards the 1.1 level? So... Uh, that's the real big question for the day. Or is this just simply a retracement of the downtrend and it's going to turn around and go back down and make a new low? On the right-hand side is the USD, and it's similar yet opposite of what we see on the left-hand side. Uh, in the past week or so, we've been in an uptrend along the blue trend line, and yesterday and today we see a little bit of a pullback down retracement of that uptrend. So the question is, is the US dollar turning around? Didn't quite make it to the top of the range but uh, made it all the way up here to 100.3525, the purple shaded area, and yesterday today bounced back down towards 99.75. So again, the question is, are we looking at reversal and this to go back down towards the bottom of the range, down into the 98s again? Or is this simply a pullback before making another run at the high? I think maybe we'll see what happens after the news today and see if that can give us any clue to that. Not ready to give up on the uptrend, but definitely watching the clues and evidence for potential reversal on both sides of the picture here. Take it into the euro real quick, just to get a little bit of a, a deeper view here. Sitting above 1.082510 is the yellow shaded area you can see here within the range, within the box. So we are currently sitting above that. So that is our support for the day today. So if we get some further Euro USD sell-off or a rally for the Euro, we're looking for support here and the market to challenge the purple zone, break the purple zone and go higher. On the other side of that, if we get a USD rally again, this may find its resistance here or break underneath the yellow shaded area and make another run at the low point of the trend, which is the pink shaded area. So kind of waiting to see which direction is going to happen. You know, significant news today, uh, non-farm payrolls, earnings, unemployment rate, you know, that's significant news. Uh, it's possible that some of this rise, some of this pullback or retracement we're seeing here on the euro or Specific, another specific there is the USD, the pullback that we're seeing on the USD to go back down. Is that, in fact, just profit taking prior to the significant news? Is that just traders that were buying in the trend profit taking before the NFP news? And then once we get the news, do they resume the uptrend? That's, you know, one way to think about that is it could be that once we get the news and if it's not as bad as expected or uh, the market just kind of eases back its, uh, you know, its worry about what's going to happen with the news. Uh, would we see the resumption of the uptrend? We'll see. I mean, I, I don't, can't predict the, the future, but that's, uh, that's what we'll be watching for over the next uh, hour or so to see what happens after the, that NFP news. So uh, that's what we're looking for. Take it down to the four hour time frame on the Euro dollar, you can see, again, there's your yellow zone. If we're going to buy it, if we do see the market start to sell off the dollar again, we decide to buy the euro. We want to do it as close as possible to the yellow zone to give us the best risk reward. If you buy it, your risk, of course, is it breaks underneath. So your stop loss would be underneath the yellow zone if we decide to go long after we get our news. Uh, of course, the next thing would be the break of the purple zone. And then if we buy buy above the purple zone, then our stop loss would be under the purple zone. The other side of that picture, again, is 
if the resumption of the downtrend happens here on the euro dollar, uh, we'd be looking to sell as close as possible to that same purple shaded area. Our stop loss would be above the purple shaded area if we decide to sell close to that. And again, if it breaks the yellow zone, our stop loss will be just above the yellow zone to go back down to the ping zone. So let's wait to see how the market handles its news at 8.30 a.m. But we know where, you know, that's one of the things we've been talking about in the live trade room quite a bit is where do we make our trading decisions? What direction should we trade and where do we make them? And one of the clues that we often talk about in the trade room about the where to trade is are these colored shaded areas I have on my chart? And if you're kind of confused about where they are, what they come from, uh, please join us in the live trade room. We'll talk about it a little bit more today. Thanks. From Forex Traders Daily, this has been your daily analysis with Ross Mullins. If you would like to get Ross's analysis on all the currency pairs he's watching and all the trades he takes today, join him in his live trade room by clicking on the link below. Please leave any comments you have about today's video in the comments section below.